Like many of the popular superheroes out there in the Marvel and DC universes, Black Panther has been subjected to many alternate versions of himself. Multiverses, gotta love them. And there's no shortage of interesting, compelling, and downright odd alternates of T'Challa or those wearing the Black Panther mantle across the many Marvel Earths. So today we're counting down some of our favorites with our list of the top 10 alternate versions of Black Panther. Earth X Black Panther from Earth 9997. This version of T'Challa sees the character as a humanoid panther. Upon eating the heart shaped herb, he gains not only his powers as Black Panther, but also mutates into a humanoid panther. This mutation only continued to further progress as the Terrigen Mists were released into Earth's atmosphere. Thus, the animals in Wakanda would also mutate too, becoming humanoid versions of themselves. Kinda creepy. In recent Earth 9997 history, this version of Black Panther was given the Cosmic Cube by Captain America after the hero killed Red Skull. He trusted that T'Challa would resist the temptation to use it and hold on to it safely. In at number 9, Cold Tiger from Earth 355. Back when Black Panther was in development in 1966, Jack Kirby's initial design for the character's costume was very different than what it turned out to be when the character first hit comic stands. Kirby and Stan Lee's name for the concept was Cold Tiger. That wasn't the last of Cold Tiger though. The character would be added to the Marvel Universe in 1992 in Avengers issue 355, when he was introduced as being the T'Challa of Earth 355, hmm. the only remaining Avenger alive. He was discovered by the gatherers and brought to Earth 616. Unfortunately, he died of a chronal imbalance that could only be fixed by killing his Earth 616 counterpart, the Earth 616 T'Challa. But Cole Tiger refused to do that. And at number 8, X Men Forever Earth 616. The Black Panther of Earth 616 is a tragic one. The character's origins are largely the same as 616 T'Challa, with the timelines differentiating after he left the Avengers to focus on ruling Wakanda. One day, Storm crashes into his quarters after fleeing from the X Men. Nick Fury warns T'Challa that Storm can't be trusted due to the violent way that she parted with her old team, but he chooses to trust his lifelong friend anyway and accept her in Wakanda. Storm starts aiding the people, not only with the weather, but aiding in social causes and helping the innocent, gaining her popularity amongst Wakandans. The Chala then marries Storm, but on their wedding night, Killmonger attacks them and depowers Storm with a special necklace. Killmonger then reveals that he's assassinated T'Challa's entire family before killing T'Challa himself. But that's not the end of it. Killmonger is then killed by Storm. She had planned this whole event since her arrival in Wakanda, a way to get rid of T'Challa all while maintaining the adoration of the Wakandan people. Up next, number 7, Black Panther from Earth 9047. Also known as the Black and Blue Panther, this version of T'Challa is actually named Chola. He joins the fight against the X-Persons and the Revengers in the What The issue number 1 in 1988. For context, What The was a self-proclaimed Marvel mag of mirth and mayhem, and featured parodied versions of various fan favorites, including the Pulverizer, the Inedible Bulk, the X-Persons, the Offenders, like, like offensive. You guys get the joke. The character was barely featured in the issue, but got a roll call and flopped around a lot in his incompetent glory. And at 6, Shuri's Black Panther. While there are a handful of times in alternate universes that Shuri, T'Challa's sister, becomes Black Panther, for the purpose of this list, we're gonna look at her in Earth 616. After the secret invasion event, Namor tries to recruit T'Challa to join the Cabal. The first version of it, that is. A council of supervillains led by Doctor Doom. When T'Challa declines, he's put into a coma. Storm, who was his queen at the time, nominates Shuri to be his successor, and she goes through the trials to become queen. But when she gets to the heart shaped herb, she's rejected due to her lifelong jealousy of her brother. Then Wakanda is put into mortal danger, so Shuri decides to take on the Black Panther mantle anyway and defend it, a sacrifice that earns her the mantle officially, with the panther god granting her the Black Panther's powers. In at number 5, Zombie Black Panther from Earth 2149. Just like most other heroes in the Marvel Universe, T'Challa has a zombie version on Earth 2149, and it's creepy as f It starts off with T'Challa being attacked by Giant Man, who grows in size and knocks him unconscious, and is also a zombie. When he awakens, most of his right arm and part of his right leg are missing. Soon after that, he discovers Wasp's animated severed head, who's also a zombie, and makes a deal with her to help him escape. He manages to construct a crutch for himself and makes his way through the ruined city. He eventually gets cybernetic limbs built by Forge. Not much is known of his life prior to the zombie plague though. Forty years later, the character is ruling New Wakanda, which is located where New York City used to be, and there is an uprising against him. An assassin creeps into his royal bedchamber and stabs him. But Wasp, who also now has a cybernetic body, has learned to control her zombie flesh cravings, and catches the assassin and kills him. T'Challa lays there dying, but Wasp decides the only way to save him is to zombify him. So she bites him. Up next at four, 
Happy Pants Panther. Also known as the Fruity Pebbles Panther, Happy Pants Panther appears in Black Panther Volume 3, Issues 35 and 48. He's supposed to be a future version of T'Challa who is sent back through the magic of King Solomon's frogs. He's also distinctively chippier than the T'Challa we know and love. This is likely due to his incurable brain aneurysm that was inevitably killing him. When you're dying, I guess you gotta look for the positives in life. At one point, Loki takes over his mind and sees his knowledge into the future. But eventually, Happy Pants falls victim to his aneurysm, and is put into suspended animation by Nightshade in hopes of finding a way to cure it. But that doesn't last long before Manape decides to crush his body, killing him anyway. In at 3, the Spider Virus Panther from Earth 19919. This humanoid Black Panther spider is from the Spider Island comics, which was part of the Secret Wars event in 2015. This series begins with Peter Parker turning into a giant spider after he gets a kiss from the Spider Queen. When Parker turns back into a human, the Spider Queen uses tissue samples from him to create a spider virus. And guess who gets infected? This eight legged T'Challa is indicted into the Spider Queen's brain trust, her personal army, and is incredibly creepy to look at. In our number two spot, T'Challa Yudaku, the ultimate Black Panther from Earth 1610. While this version of T'Challa has a similar origin story as the regular Earth 616 T'Challa, there are some important differences to consider. So when he's young, rather than just waiting for his elder brother M'Baku to take the trial to become the next Black Panther, he got impatient and did the trial himself to prove his worth. Upon doing this, he's brutally maimed by a Black Panther in combat. After 17 hours of surgery, he's still near death, leaving his father T'Chaka with a tough decision to make. He seeks aid outside of Wakanda to save his son and ends up going to the Weapon X program. You know, the program that uh, turned Wolverine into to Wolverine. T'Challa ends up gaining retractable metal claws similar to Wolverine, but loses his ability to speak entirely. When S.H.I.E.L.D. takes over Weapon X, Nick Fury takes T'Challa under his wing, and he begins training with Captain America to become an ultimate. And finally, in our number one spot, Venomized Black Panther from Earth TRN 650. So there's two different Venomized Black Panthers in the Marvel Universe, but for this number we'll be specifically looking at the Black Panther of Earth TRN 650, from Venomverse War Stories issue number one, featuring a woman named Ngozi. Ngozi was a track star with a lot of potential, until she was in a tragic bus accident that left her legs paralyzed. One day when she was outside trying to capture a grasshopper for her bug collection, she caught sight of the Venom symbiote fleeing from villain Rhino, who was also being pursued by T'Challa's Black Panther. The symbiote bonded with Ngozi, and T'Challa was killed in battle by Rhino. Ngozi manages to convince the symbiote to fight Rhino, and the two work together to save the people of Lagos, an act that the Dora Milaje take notice of. They decide to take Ngozi in and make her T'Challa's successor as Black Panther, and she has a really rad costume. Alright, there we have it friends. Which of these versions of Black Panther was your favorite? Are there versions that we didn't include on this list that you think should be in a part 2? Let us know your thoughts in those comments below. If you dug this video, please show some love by hitting that like button. Make sure to subscribe, and why not check out some of our other videos, like our top 10 superhero tech list that's currently flashing on your screen right now. Give it a click, you know you want to. In the meantime, thanks for watching, I've been Kelly Pally, and this has been Top 10 Nerd. Catch you all in the next one.